Let's talk about connection timeout in database mirroring. First of all, what is connection timeout? In database mirroring session, all three servers, witness server, principal server and mirror server, they ping each other for every one second. If any server is not responding for 10 pings, then the failover is initiated. So this connection timeout happens uh, only in high availability mode, not in the high safety and high performance mode because there is no witness and there is no automatic failover. By default, database mirroring is configured for 10 seconds. You can verify that using the database uh, mirroring catalog view. This is witness server default instance SQL INST1 principal and SQL INST2 is mirror. Right now I have two servers mirrored. They are configured in the high availability mode. Okay, so DB mirror is configured in high availability mode and DB mirror 2 is configured in high availability mode. Okay, so to verify what is the current timeout value for the database mirroring, You can see there are six records for each database. These two are mirrored. If there is a GUID, then they are mirrored. Okay. This is the default value 10 second set for database mirroring. Okay, that means if the server uh, that is principal or witness or uh, mirror, if any server in the database mirroring session is not responding for 10 seconds, then the failover is initiated. Okay, you can change that value uh, using the alter statement. Okay, like this. So if I execute this, then failover is initiated for 20 seconds. The server is going to wait for 20 seconds before initiating the failover. Okay. Basically, uh, database mirroring, it decides if a server is completely down. Okay. Uh, if the server is unresponsive or not responding then the mirroring will automatically fail over immediately without waiting for the timeout parameters okay but if the server is responding and the database instance is responding and database is not responding okay the, the server is responding sql instance database service is responding but the database is not available or that uh, it is having some issues with the database okay the files may not be available or some some problem with the database and database is not responding in that case, it is going to depend on this value. Okay, depends on various scenarios. It is going to decide whether to immediately fail over or wait for 20 seconds. Okay, but you cannot set less than four. Okay, that Microsoft has uh, configured as a default value of uh, five seconds. Even though you set any value less than four, it is going to set as a four or five. Okay, but generally the default value 10 that holds good for many scenarios. In most cases, 10 is good, but there are certain cases uh, like uh, failover uh, in clustering. Okay, for example, uh, let us say you have a setup like this you have this is a production cluster and this is a disaster 
server cluster okay so you are setting up mirroring between production server to disaster server okay this is this is cluster node 1 node 2 and the sql virtual uh, server name is prod db and uh, this is a disaster recovery cluster and disaster recovery cluster name is drdb okay so you are setting up database mirroring going from here to here okay if there is a problem with, with this server node 1 okay then cluster is going to fail over the service to the node 2 okay it depends on various uh, scenarios how long it's going to fail over the services from node 1 to node 2 typically clustering takes about 30 seconds to 60 seconds okay if the database is uh, very large then it might take more than 60 seconds okay generally it will take some time between 30 to 60 seconds okay so in that case you have to set database mirroring greater than 60 seconds for example you might think that okay maximum it is going to take 60 seconds uh, to fail over from node 1 to node 2 then you have to set the database mirroring the timeout parameter uh, as uh, 60 or some or some value greater than 60 okay if you set if you keep the default value then if cluster takes more than uh, 30 or 45 seconds and database mirroring is going to fail over the database because it's going to wait for just 10 seconds and after that it and after that if the database is not available then it's going to fail over the database to dr site okay so you don't want that to happen in those scenarios you might want to increase the timeout okay uh, and also if the if there is any issue with the server in the principal server uh, then you know you might want to in, uh, increase the connection timeout so there are a couple of reasons why you want to increase the connection timeout and now i'm going to show you how to increase the timeout okay this is the statement alter database the mirror da mirror the database name set partner time equal to 20 you have to execute this command on the principal server so i'm going to let us say my cluster is going to take 60 seconds to fail over from node 1 to node 2 so i don't want mirroring to interfere in the process so i'm going to set 61 okay or let us say 70 something like that okay if i execute that command then it is going to affect the mirroring session on both the servers okay so now you can see this value is set as 70 okay so this is uh, one such important thing if you are mixing clustering and mirroring you know uh, which one uh, will fail over the database first okay so you have to be aware of this uh, option this parameter next we will look into database snapshot what is database snapshots and why do we need that in database mirroring database snapshot can be used to create read only copy of the database in other words snapshot of a database at a specific point of time for example uh, let us say this is our source database okay this is the database for the this is the production database for the application okay and transactions are keep coming into this database we can create a snapshot of this database and we can use the snapshot for reporting purposes or for some other purpose okay whatever the time we create the snapshot that the snapshot will, will contain the data whatever the data at that point of time in this database snapshot okay and why do we need that in database mirroring the thing is uh, in in database mirroring we cannot read the data from mirror database okay but whereas in the log shipping we can read the data from secondary database that's not the case with database mirroring but in uh, sql server denali version in hadr microsoft allows the uh, mirror database to read and we can have multiple copies of mirror database uh, but again that is a different story in hadr uh, functionalities i'm talking about but in 2008 r2 
we cannot read the data from mirror database. But Microsoft allows us to use database snapshot on the mirror database to read the data. Okay, in that case, we can use database snapshots. Let me tell you how the database snapshot will work. This is the source database and this is the production database for the application. Application inserts the transactions into the source database. Okay, and we can create a database snapshot on this database. Okay, and the database snapshot works at the page level. When we initially create a database snapshot, for example, at, at 11 a.m., okay, then it creates a empty sparse file, NTFS with the alternate data stream sparse file on the server. Okay. As application server keep inserting the rows or transaction into the source database, as the pages on the source database gets modified, then to keep the originality, to keep the data at the database snapshot time, what the database snapshot functionality does, it just copies the page from source database to sparse file. Okay. In simple words, let us say uh, there are 100 transactions after creating the database snapshot. Okay. And as a result, 100 pages are modified, for example. And before the page is overwritten, 100 pages are overwritten on the source database, those pages before overwritten, those pages are copied over to the sparse file. Okay. And as more and more transactions that keep coming into the source database, more and more pages will get modified, overwritten on the source database. So, before those pages are modified, the original page will get copied over to the sparse file. Okay, as, as number of transactions increases in the source database, after we create the database snapshot, the sparse file will keep growing. Okay, so we have to create sparse file for every data file on the source database. For example, we have uh, three data file for this uh, source database, then we have to create three sparse file. Okay. By looking at this uh, scenario, you can tell database snapshot works at the page level. Okay. This process is called copy on write operation. Okay. For before writing into the source database, the page is copied to the snapshot database. Okay. Obviously, the reason is simple. Uh, whenever we are querying against the database snapshot, it needs to give us the data with whatever we had at the point of creation. Okay, so this is how basically it works. Now let's create database snapshot. We cannot create the database snapshot using the management studio. Okay, we have to use the TSQL queries. Oh, okay, by the way, I forgot to tell one point. If we create database snapshot on the mirror database, on the mirror server, then we need to purchase license. Okay, that is, uh, that is there. So, Microsoft allows to uh, read the mirror database using database snapshot functionality, but we need to pay license in case we are using the database snapshots. Okay, but the advantages of da having database snapshot on the mirror server is we can have the reporting application to query against the a database snapshot uh, instead of uh, going against the live production database. Okay, that we can divert the reporting queries onto the database snapshot database on the mirror server. So we can make use of the mirror server, but again, we have to pay license for the, the SQL server. Okay. But if high availability is the primary goal for you for the database mirroring, then do not use uh, the database snapshot future. Okay, it gives uh, additional performance issues for the database mirroring.